in a sad evening what i decided let's try blender sculpting for the fuck this is very new i can't find anything anything like similar to jupiter oh my god wait this is the brushes oh i see this is the sculpting brushes so we can choose those brushes because i know somewhere deep down in my heart I still love you. <laughs> let's let's see what Blender can do. Wait, this is a remesh. Oh, nice. Now we can smooth it a bit. Wait. Right. Let's remesh it again. Oh my God. So the move tool is working fine. As for my point of view of scripting, like uh, I use it most of the red time actually. Now this is the clay build up. Mm, nice. But sometimes it's laggy, kind of not uh, as much smooth as much gibberish. Like clay build up a little bit laggy, but still I have the same feeling on the clay strip brush and. See, I'm making a full fish. So I, you can see, like there is so many brushes is there, but you don't need to learn so many brushes. Only just when you're using dew brush, we use a couple of few brushes. Same brush we can use here also, like move to clay build up or clay strip, clay and here the knife tool for like uh, dance standard. So it's like similar kind of stuff, but what the most important thing is like this lighting, now we can render it. But uh, I am feel feeling very sad like there's no many materials out there so you can create your matte cap or your sculpting material this material will be better so let's continue i'm trying to make one skull of the fish i always use move brush a lot on my sculpting so it's helping to build a silhouette really nice those things like here after clicking you can adjust the brushes like uh, hotkeys and i installed one plugin so it will help me to rotate the model like z brush and here i am a little bit disappointed of the remesh option but there's some add-ons like we can use those things to make it like z remesh or kind of stuff but it's not working like that ZBrush, those options are far away, far better in ZBrush actually. So here, now you can increase the brushes and I'm just using a clay strip brush. So like this we can sculpt over, like adding some volumes on the models. And just uh, just uh, I'm adding some message like see I'm not like drawing some lines I'm just using a lot of clay strip and like doing the smooth and sometimes changing the light and direction so it is very important so changing your light of your model or colors so you understand how it's coming. There's the option so you can use those things for a little bit better viewport render. I like the viewport by the way, but you can do real time rendering and sculpting together. Let me open again. It got crashed. This is the problem. So like when you make some little bit much high poly, I feel like that uh, Gibbish can handle more high poly, like more 
डेंशियर मैश यू कैन हेयर स्कर्ट स्टाइल एज मॉडल्स और लाइक बट वैन यू ट्राइंग फॉर लाइक मोर डिटेल्स दैट टाइम आई थिंक यू कोड यूज रिपोर्ट सी नाउ इट्स वर्किंग फाइन लेट मी ओपन दिस It's very painful. Like sometimes, like this happens, and I have to open it again. So those bugs I have faced actually. But most of the time, I think it's like it's a free software. So as it per much like. giving something like you are starting right now so that time you can start just try here like how much good it is and just learn the basics here then you can go for like the, the detailing purpose for like zebrush but this is a good sculpting tool like every every tool is available here also and you can light like like this you cannot check the lighting also the real time lighting software with a sculpting tool like this what i love the most actually during sculpting time we add, we can add lights this is like a big power like when you're sculpting you can see like how the model reacts in the lighting you can understand the cracks that fall off fall down of the models now i am sculpting the teeth and the face of this fish so i will fast forward and we can check the rest of the video for making those impression and and just right now using that draw brush it's similar with the jewel standard brush and for cutting those things like detailing purpose i am using that knife brush it's similar like dan standard in z brush so don't afraid of the names just remember your tool there's a basic purpose of it and always turn over your model like don't fix and i'm remeshing it again so after remesh you can see like i'm losing some of details I have to figure out in future how can i hold those but i think that experience is uh, almost 60% in gibberish because i think it's improved a lot because the last time i used blender 
uh, three or this previous version not that much good but here I can see uh, this is a very good change so let's see continue we can continue our video
So after spending this much time in Blender, what I decided, Blender is not bad in sculpting, it's evolving. It will take some time to get the level of the cheapest, but always cheapest will be the best in the sculpting soft field, like if you want to sculpt anything, but you can't compare it, actually you, have, you can't compare it, because those software is made for different purpose. Blender is like blending everything together and ZBrush is like only for sculpting so don't compare it but you can sculpt in Blender and it's absolutely free so that's the positive point here and I'm not I'm just I will not hypocrite to ZBrush like I'm using it I will use it for future also and what I suggest you people like when you go to big industry or big studios they will prefer to like but brand is evolving maybe no in future we will work in both so this is my point of view i hope i will justify it so we we'll progress to the video Sorry, I forgot to mention this uh, concept art is done by Stephen Oakley and the concept name is Mola Mola of Doom. <gasps> and this is the final out. <laughs> I hope I justified the concept here. So we are to the end of the video, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and let me know if you want to watch more Blender sculpting video. Take care guys, see you soon, happy new year and merry christmas.